Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. First of all, I want to thank our air defense forces and the air force for repelling another attack by Iranian drones this morning. The skies of the Kiev region are defended by the 96th Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade of the Air Force. Thank you guys. A total of 13 Shahids were shot down. These are 13 saved infrastructure objects, these are saved lives. In one morning, I have gathered a meeting of the staff of the Supreme Commander today. We have been talking, in particular, about the protection of the sky. We are constantly strengthening our air defense and anti-drone defense. And we are doing everything to get more modern and more powerful systems for Ukraine. This week, there has been a significant advance in progress on the air defense issue. Of course, the situation in Donbass and other active areas on the front line has been discussed in great detail at the staff meeting. There is no calm on the front line. There is nothing easy and simple. Every day and every meter is given extremely hard. Especially where the entire tactics of the enemy boils down to the destruction of everything in front of them with artillery, so that only bare ruins and craters in the ground remain. Today, by the way, I spoke about it in an address to the European Parliament. Russia is destroying city after city in Donbass, like Mariupol, like Volnovaka, like Bakhmut. Defense in such conditions is not just a heroism, it is something more. And I thank all our warriors who withstand the pressure of the invaders. I would like to note the warriors of the 46th Separate Airmobile Brigade, who very skillfully and bravely defeated the enemy during another attack and forced him to retreat. Well done. I would also like to note the warriors of the 80th and 95th Separate Airborne Assault Brigades who are fighting in the Kremina direction, and do this very effectively. Thank you, warriors. We are preparing agreements that will strengthen our defense capabilities and give Ukraine more operational capabilities. We also do not slow down our activity for the sake of creating a special tribunal for Russian aggression and holding all those responsible for it to account. Earlier today I called on our friends in Europe and members of the European Parliament to step up their efforts to make the tribunal finally operational. The terrorist state must bear responsibility for every burned Ukrainian city, for every destroyed life of our people. And it will bear it. I spoke today with International Olympic Committee President Bach. In particular, about the fact that the principles of the Olympic movement definitely do not envisage conniving with terrorist states. Any ideas on how to get Russian representatives back to international competitions are ideas on how to allow those guilty of terror to tell their society that the world supposedly condones terror. This is a sports indulgence. This is how it will be presented by Russian propaganda if the International Olympic Committee fails and allows those who represent war and nothing else to participate in sporting events on an equal footing with others. I do not want to clarify whether there are any motives behind such ideas about the return of Russia. But no one will turn a blind eye to any attempt to reduce international pressure on the source of the war. When we receive reports like today from Kherson, where a child, a boy, was killed by yet another Russian shelling. He was eight years old. We can only say one thing, a white or any neutral flag is impossible for Russian athletes, all their flags are bloodstained. Today, I held very important negotiations with UN Secretary General Guterres. I thanked him for his constant support of Ukraine and international law, for effective assistance in the implementation of our initiatives, such as, grain from Ukraine. We are currently working on organizing missions with an international mandate to the objects of the critical energy infrastructure of our country. I believe that this can also be successful. And one more thing. Today, 64 Ukrainians were returned from Russian captivity. 64 warriors four officers and 60 privates and sergeants. Among them are seriously wounded. We provide adequate assistance to everyone. We continue to work to free and return home every Ukrainian man and woman still held captive in Russia. I would like to thank our team that ensures the exchanges. 
I thank everyone who works for Ukrainians and Ukraine. Glory to all who fight for our country. Glory to all who fill with their courage and effectiveness the word that is now heard all over the world, the word Ukraine. And I want to separately thank, PLAST, today, our Ukrainian scouts, guides for the peace light of Bethlehem, which they brought to Ukraine. Let this light support all of us, all Ukrainians. Glory to Ukraine.